Hey there, Pastor Nikki here again. This week, our lesson comes from the book of Judges, chapter 6, verses 36 to 40. Hear the word of the Lord. Then Gideon said to God, In order to see whether you will deliver Israel by my hand, as you have said, I'm going to lay a fleece of wool on the threshing floor. If there is dew on the fleece alone, and it is dry on all the ground, then I shall know that you will deliver Israel by my hand, as you have said. And it was so. When he arose early the next morning and squeezed the fleece, he wrung enough dew from the fleece to fill a bowl with water. Then Gideon said to God, Do not let your anger burn against me. Let me speak one more time. Let me please make a trial with the fleece just once more. Let it be dry only on the fleece, and all the ground let there be dew. And God did so that night. It was dry on the fleece only, and on all the ground there was dew. So I have here this blanket that's made of fleece. And even back in the Old Testament times, it was not uncommon for people to have fleece blankets in their home. They didn't quite look like this, but they were fleece. It was a very soft and warm fabric. It still really is. In fact, this blanket is one that we fight over in our household. And it just so happens that the fleece blanket plays a role in the story that we just read and heard about from Gideon. Now, Gideon lived in the time of Judges a period of time that follows the Israelites' arrival in Canaan, but comes before the establishment of God's kingdom of Israel. God had allowed the Israelites to fall captive to their enemy as punishment for their sin. When the Israelites cried out to God, God called on Gideon. Now, Gideon wasn't exactly the kind of guy that you would figure would be a world leader. But he was not from a powerful and important family. God doesn't usually call on the important or those who are we would think would be the leaders. When God called Gideon to save Israel, Gideon was like, why me? And so he wasn't sure if he was really the chosen one, so he put God to the test. The problem was that Gideon didn't believe that he was a man for the job. When God called to Gideon to save Israel, Gideon, like as we said, put him to the test. And he set a fleece outside. And he prayed to God. And he told God, if you want me to save Israel, then in the morning there will be dew in the blanket, but not on the ground. And that was what came to be. When he woke up, he could wring the entire blanket out and fill the bowl with water, but the ground was dry. Now, some people today would look at Gideon and say, well, he just doesn't have enough faith because he said again, God, all right, you did that miracle, but I need, I need more proof. So this time I want to lay the fleece out, but I want the fleece to be dry and the ground to be wet. And that's what God did. But there's a valuable lesson in Gideon's testing of God. Too many people today run out and try to do God's will without ever asking God what God wants. They say, I will start a Christian band, or I will start a Christian TV show, or I will start my own ministry. Are their motives right? Probably. But if they want to serve God, then yes. But it's just because you want to do something doesn't mean it's God's will. God has a plan for all of us, but finding that plan can sometimes feel like a series of tests. Oftentimes when we try and fail, we go to blame God. But maybe those are the times when God is simply saying, no, this isn't my plan. My plan is over here. Gideon didn't dare do anything until he knew he was sure it was God's plan. And while we shouldn't get into the habit of testing God, we need to take every thought and idea captive, praying to God and asking, is this your will or mine? If it is ours, then we need to let it go. But if it is the Lord's, then go and get ready to see 
how God can move.